Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The Uttam AEC Mark 1 is a full solid state gallium arsenide based active electronic scanned array AEC radar. It is a liquid cool AEC radar in which increasing or decreasing the number of TR modules is quite easy depending on fighter jet's nose cone. It has total of 18 modes in air to air, air to ground and air to sea rooms. The radar has range well over 120 km and is key to the integration of various indigenously developed missiles such as Astra and other guided munitions over long distances. The AC radar has 95% indigenous component with only one imported subsystem. It has capacity to track 100 targets in the sky at a range in excess of 100 km and engage 4 of them simultaneously. It can even track a small RCS fighter like Tejas at a range of 140 km. Last year in December, it was reported that Indian Air Force is planning to demonstrate the indigenously developed Uttam AESA Mark I radar. As per the project director of LRD, the radar has already been tested on two Tejas fighters as well as Hawker Sedley 800 executive jets for over 250 hours. The National Flight Testing Center, which is manned by Indian Air Force, has already green-lighted the radar after successful performance test. Now, as per the latest report, Uttam ASA Mark I has entered into its final leg of trials and is soon to commence the user-assisted trials, which is expected to involve Indian Air Force personnel. Once the trial is complete, the indigenous radar will enter into mass production. The LRD has signed a memorandum of understanding with HL for being the lead integrator of the radar on this MK1A with four identified vendors including BEL being the suppliers of key subsystems. The indigenously developed Uttam Ace radar will be integrated with all Indian fighter jets that includes even Su-30 MKIs which is at present the backbone of Air Force. It also includes MiG-29K of Navy and Tejas MK-1A. Earlier, the plan was to integrate Uttam ASA Mark I radar with 21st Tejas MK-1A onwards, but as per the latest reports, it has been decided to integrate it from 17th Tejas MK-1A onwards, which means the first 16th Tejas MK-1A will feature ASA radar, but it will not be Uttam, instead it will be Israel's ELM-2052 ASA radars. Indian Navy will also replace Zook ME radar onboard carrier based MiG 29K fighters with indigenous Uttam AC radars. Uttam, to feature in this MK 1A, will have close to 780 TR modules. Uttam AC Mark 1 radar performs two times better than Zook ME radar of Indian Navy's MiG 29K and has far better mean time between failure that is MTBF which means it is less prone to mechanical or electronic failures. Uttam radar to feature in this MK1A will have close to 780 TR modules. Recently, LRD has also received the first unit of Uttam ASA Mark II radar. It is going to be again gallium arsenide based radar but will have more number of TR modules than MK1. As per DRDO scientist, the Uttam radar of this MK2 will carry around 992 transceiver receiver modules capable of detecting targets as small as 0.0001 m2 radar cross section area. The Uttam ASA Mark II will be integrated with LSP this MK1A fighter to begin with, which will be used as test bed for this MK2 program. It's also expected to be integrated with the first prototype of this Mark II, which is likely to be rolled out by early 2023. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.